What's going on guys, Jay Hoyt back with you today. Welcome back to some Black Ops 4. We got some hard point on the map of Nuketown. And this one is a good one. This one, I I slaughtered my top kills in this one. Not all time, but in this game. I never really went for high kill games, but I think my highest before this game was like 65 or something like that. Let's just say it gets broken. But today's video, as you can tell by the title, I want to talk about the top 10 players with a few honorable mentions. The best Call of Duty players of all time. Now, I want to kind of preface this. I'm basing my list off of a couple different things. Championships won, or tournaments won. If they ever won a world championship, that's also taken into consideration. And kind of what they've done for the scene. Okay, so it's kind of like... A mix of a, a few different things because there's some players that may not have won as many tournaments as someone else It's a little bit higher than them and uh, they have more you know kind of world championships or stuff like that So you'll see as the list goes up But uh, let's just start with some honorable mentions now. I should also mention I guess first there's no owners There's no like staff on this list um, But I mean that could be a whole nother video by itself, you know owners and and uh, organizations that have done the most in the scene, but We'll just stick with the players for now. So some couple honorable mentions. We actually have five. And uh, we have Rambo Ray. Now Rambo Ray, uh, I should also mention this. Uh, some of the stats may be skewed a little bit. Uh, a couple of websites I tried to search for them from may be a little bit wrong. So if I mess them up, you know, that's, uh, you know, that's on me obviously. But this is uh, at least close to what it is. But the first one, like I said, Rambo Ray. Now he works for one of the, I think he works for like Sledgehammer or something like that. Or the Call of Duty World League or MLG or somebody. He works for some uh, company that has related to uh, to Call of Duty. And uh, he's got eight tournament wins. Now that's a lot. Now that's a, a pretty high standard to start this off with. And uh, he also won the 2009 National Championship. Along with another player that will be coming up here in a second. But uh, Rambo Ray, he's sixth, I guess 15th on our list. Uh, we have five honorable mentions. Moving on to the next one, we have John. Uh, I should also mention Rambo Ray is retired. John from Luminosity Gaming, now playing for them. Seven, seven tournament wins, and he has won a Call of Duty World Championship uh, a couple years ago with Team Envy, or Envious, I guess it was at the time. Uh, 13th on our list, we have Big Timer. Now, Big Timer, Optic con content creator, former Optic member. We have nine tournament wins. Nine. So, I mean, he won a lot. But he also won the 2009 National Championship with his teammate Rambo Ray. Next on our list, this player could be controversial in here, but Parasite. Now Parasite, you know, although he hasn't really won anything recently, he still won a lot back in the day. He's got nine tournament wins with one Call of Duty World Championship. Um, you know, that was back in the day with, uh, with it was Impact, I believe it was. So, I mean, he was good back in the day, not so much now. Currently playing for the Pittsburgh Knights. Um, I don't know if they're still on that team or if they're on uh, some other organization. But uh, that was the last team he was on. Next, at 11th, and our final honorable mention is Merc. Now, Merc is now a uh, CWL commentator, uh, but he also streams. He's got 12 tournament wins. Which surprisingly doesn't make my top 10. But he also won the 2011 Call of Duty XP Championship with a couple other players that are oh, actually one other player that's on this list, which is uh, coming up at 10. But uh, Merc, what he's done with the scene with uh, casting, with before he did casting, he was on the analyst desk, and uh, you know he absolutely has done a lot for the scene. You know, former Optic member, Envy, uh, you know, a couple other different teams that I'm probably forgetting, but most notably of those two. And then, now, let's get into the top 10. Now, like I said at the start of the video, some of these players may not have won as many tournaments, but I'm kind of throwing in what have they done for the scene uh, into it as well. So, Merc with 12 tournament wins. You know, he's got more than a couple of the guys on the list, but, you know, it's uh, kind of what they did for the scene and, you know, championships and everything wise. But coming in at number 10, we have Nade Shot. Now, Although you may not think of him as the most individually skilled, he's got eight tournament wins and he won the 2011 Call of Duty XP Championship. Plus, I kind of threw in this one. It was kind of a tie between Nadeshot and Merc. Uh, just what Nadeshot did for the scene, obviously blown up, being that kind of that face of competitive Call of Duty. Even though he wasn't the best of players, 
um, he still was kind of the face of Call of Duty, just like uh, I know it is in other sports. But uh, eight tournament win, 2011 at Call of Duty XP Championship, and what he did for the scene earns him the number 10 spot. At ninth on our list, we have, I should also say, Nate Shot now retired and the owner of 100 Thieves. At number nine, we have Apathy. Now, Apathy is now on Team Envious. Uh, he was on EG to win the championship last year. But Apathy, seven tournament wins, and he now has two Call of Duty World Championship titles. One with Team Envy, and the other one with, is it, are they both with Envy? Or no, one was with EG. So one would be with Envy, one with EG. Uh, now he's back on Envy with the same squad he won champs with, with the addition of who? Eighth on our list, the legendary Clayster. One of my favorite players of all time. Uh, former Optic member as well. Uh, pretty much everyone on this list has been on Optic at one point or another. Uh, very few haven't. But Clayster, 13 tournament wins and one Call of Duty World Championship back in the denial days. And uh, he's overall been a huge force, a huge face in the Call of Duty, uh, you know, Call of Duty scene. And uh, one of the veteran leaders. I think he's the oldest player. I think I saw, if not one of the oldest. I think it's a, I think he's like 26, 27. So he's up. Uh, he's the top two, one of the top two oldest players currently playing right now. Uh, but Clayster at number eight. Forgot to mention Clayster currently playing with E United. But we gotta move on here. Number seven, we have the coach for Optic Game, and we got Tyler TP. You know, Optic TP, now the Call of Duty coach, like I just said. And uh, he's got 16 tournament wins. 16. That's insane. But we also have one Call of Duty World Championship back in the, was it Complexity or EG days? I don't, I'm not sure which one he won with. But, uh, you know, the Dynasty back then was absolutely huge. Clacer was a part of that. A couple of players that are high on the list were part of that. And, uh, you know, now obviously he's a coach with Optic Gaming. And uh, so far, you know, the World War II wasn't the best to him as far as coaching-wise. But he's one for one in the CWL in 2019 here with uh, CWL Vegas. Now the next player, Jcap, also former Optic member, now playing for E United with Clayster. Uh, Jcap, one of the probably best minds ever in Call of Duty. Uh, he's got 10 cha uh, tournament wins along with two Call of Duty World Championships. Uh, you know... He at number six right now, you gotta be pretty darn good or make a huge impact on a scene to be up here. And uh, Jake Cap, very, very smart player. Uh, he's been around forever. And uh, he's now on uh, United, I already said that. And, uh, you know, he's uh, one of the best minds ever. I mean, he was probably the best CTF player to ever live. Um, you know, could be argued with a couple of different people. But Jake Cap rounds out our top six. Now, the top five probably isn't a real question. I mean, you could probably throw a couple of the players up here. But at number five, currently playing for Luminosity Gaming, we have Formal. Formal, obviously, was part of the Optic Dynasty with uh, in a couple of other players. Formal, 20 tournament wins, one Call of Duty World Championship with Optic Gaming. Finally, 2017, uh, kind of the the year before they broke up and uh, the Dynasty was uh, was now over. But Formal, absolutely great player, came from Halo, uh, was on a couple different teams, and then Optic picked him up at the start of Advanced Warfare. And uh, the dynasty kind of started there with the rest of the optic guys, but absolutely fantastic player. And um, you know, 20 tournament wins, one champs, pretty impressive. So now we're down to our final four, and this one, like I said with the last comment, you know, these top four probably aren't questioned. After that, you know, from kind of five through ten, you could probably change around a couple guys here and there. But at number four, we have Aches. Aches, one of the best masterminds in Call of Duty. Uh, great leader back in the day with Complexity and EG. He has now won two Call of Duty World Championships. One back in the day with Complexity or EG, whichever one it was. And then we have last year with Evil Geniuses. One of the best players of all time. I mean, although he may not be the most individually skilled anymore, he's still absolutely a great mind for Call of Duty. And uh, he knows how to build winning teams. And uh, if he has the right players around him, he can do well. Uh, what's funny was back in, I think it was Black Ops 3, Optic actually, he, Aix wasn't in the league. So they Optic actually picked him up for uh, for the Pro League as a substitute for, I'm not sure who it was. But he came in and did, you know, great uh, with Optic. So if he has good players around him, he'll be a dominant force. Uh, definitely anywhere he goes. But then, top three. Third, we have none other 
than Skump. Optic Skump, 27 tournament wins. Although, before, you know, Infinite Warfare, he never won a Call of Duty World Champs, but considered to be one of the best of all time. Now, he secured that ring. He does have one Call of Duty World Championship uh, with Optic Gaming in the Advanced Warfare season. You know, Skump definitely what he's done for the scene as well, uh, similar to Shot, although he's not retired. Uh, you know, the Call of Duty World Champs, the uh, tournament wins, uh, you know, the streaming, the YouTube, everything solidifies him as number third. Now, first and second, these ones could be swapped. Uh, now, if you, you probably don't know who I'm talking about, but at number two, I'm going to have Karma. Now, Karma is a player that can do it all. I mean, what can't this guy do? Uh, but he's got 24 tournament wins with three Call of Duty World Championships. The only player with three Call of Duty World Champs. And, um, you know, he easily could be number one. But um, if he had a, you know, up at around like 27 championships, like overall tournament wise, I think I would have put him first. But you can't really take anything away from the number one spot. But Karma on Optic Gaming, what he's done, absolutely uh, great player. He doesn't always have the flashiest stats or the flashiest plays. But he's a player that does all the dirty work and, um, you know, can basically put anyone around him and he can do well. Part of the Optic Dynasty, part of the Complexity Dynasty, the EG Dynasty. You know, he he's, he knows how to win, basically. 24 tournament wins, three Call of Duty World Champs, only player to do that. But, number one, as you probably already know, Crim6. Now, Crim6, absolutely fantastic player. You know, one of the best players to ever live. Obviously, we'd be number one on my list. But uh, 32 tournament wins. 32. That's just insane. The only player with above 30 championships. I believe there's uh, 27 is the next highest with Scump. But uh, Crim6 has two world championships. One back in the Complexity EG days. And then we had one with, obviously, Optic with the Infinite Warfare. Now, this list was absolutely super fun to make. I've been waiting on it for a little while to kind of to make this list. But uh, just to kind of run through them again, we have the honorable mentions. We had Merc, Parasite, Big Timer, John, and Rambo Ray. And then 10 through 1 here, we got Nate Shot, Apathy, Clayster, TP, JCap. And then to round out our top 5, we had Formal, Aches, Scump, Karma, and Crim6. Now, this was super hard, especially with, uh, you know, the, the talent on this list. Crim6 and Karma could be interchanged, you know, whether you think, you know, World Champs is more important or the more tournament wins. You know, easily they could be tied at number one. And, uh, you know, those two are probably the greatest players of all time. Scump, if he wins another championship, he'll solidify himself as, you know, third best player of all time. Not necessarily third best, but definitely in the top five. Um, you know, the tournament wins, the champs, the, you know, YouTube, Twitch, the whole Twitter following, everything he's done for the scene. Uh, definitely, he, he deserves to be in the top five. Like I said, if you want to, you know, throw you know world champs in there or more tournament wins, you know, that's kind of up to a, a personal thought. But hey, that's my list. If you disagree, let me know your list down in the comment section below. I'd love to read them. Whether you want to add honorable mentions or not, that's up to you. But if, if you can give me a top five, top ten, whatever you want to give me, down in the comment section below. But uh, anyway, guys, I'm gonna wrap this one up here. If you did enjoy, hit the like button down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. And as always, guys, we'll see you next time.